Okay, so today we have the Steam Deck here, and over this past year, I've been, I guess, collecting, just testing out different cases to see which one is the best. But more importantly, see which one is the right case for me. Hopefully this video can help you um, find a case if you haven't found the perfect one for you yet, or just, you know, check out some of the great case options that are out there on the market for the Steam Deck. So disclaimer, I have a few handhelds and the Steam Deck hasn't really got as much attention from me lately because I've been testing out these other um, new handhelds. But this display here just goes to show how great the Steam Deck is as far as, you know, aftermarket support, third party support. All of these cases here just go to show you the other handhelds I have, you'd be hard pressed to find a case for any of those um, other Windows handouts. And this just goes to show how great the Steam Deck is in terms of, you know, being able to find accessories. So I guess we can go on a little journey here. We'll start off with the, the first case I ever got for the Steam Deck, which was this floppy silicone rubber case. So yeah, let's check that out and see how it fits, see how it functions. Okay, so let's check out this soft silicone rubber case here put it on tell you guys a few of my thoughts on you know the fit the function and yeah so let's get it on there i'm gonna put it on in real time maybe do like a time lapse or something okay so here you go the case is now fully on the device um, as you can see here you have all of your Pulls for your buttons, cutouts for your ports and everything like that. Good clearance on that, uh, pretty accurate. And this was like the first case I got to. This was, you know, before the Steam Deck had even come out, they were making these cases based on um, the CAD files and renders that Valve had released with Steam Deck. So they were pretty good, pretty accurate from the start. The only thing I didn't really like about this case, it's gonna be crazy maybe, I have some type of disorder, but I didn't like how the top was floppy and not really tight. As you can see here, there's always this gap here no matter what you do. And it's kind of loose around the edges here, especially here. And I mean, the case, it feels good. Like it has good grip and I'm guessing it has good, you know, a little bit of protection, obviously from scratches, maybe a little bit from a light drop because you know, it's the rubber. So it should have a little bit of um, absorption but I just couldn't get over the fact that it was loose here. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you you like a little bit of looseness on the edges, but for some reason I just couldn't bring myself to, to be comfortable playing with it like that. That's just me. But this is a great case option. These have always been like the, the least expensive option for the Steam Deck and it's a good case. Has some good grip as you can see here. It's ridged for your gaming pleasure. And of course, a more tactile grip. So yeah, this is a good case. I just couldn't get over this looseness here. Everything else is pretty good. I give this case, I give it like a B plus. Okay, so the next case we're gonna be checking out is this clear hard plastic one. All right, so now let's check out this um, hard shell clear plastic case see how it fits in our functions and I'll tell you a little bit of my thoughts on this one particularly. So let's put it on. It's pretty easy to put on um, when you don't drop it. <laughs> when you don't drop it, it's actually pretty easy to put on the Steam Deck. So let's get that on there. That just snaps into place. So let's get that on there. That snaps into place, allegedly, supposedly. Make sure everything is snapped into place. Get all of the snaps. Move on to the next one. And there you go. Here we have the Claire plastic hard shell case. You know, I did like this case um, when I first got it. This was my, my go-to case, only because it doesn't have a lot of texture like the other one, but it does offer a grip that is a very satisfying grip. It's, it's smooth but it has a little, it has friction, it has grip when it's, when it's 
on your skin it has a good grip to it just because of the nature of this material here um, so I did like this case this is my go-to case for a very long time and it has all your ports and your cutouts for your buttons and everything like that I also did like it if you notice here I have a stand on it this is like a stand that's designed for like a phone or a tablet I do like having a stand on my Steam Deck I know it's a handheld why would you need a stand anyway I like having a stand on my handheld devices that's just me and the silicone rubber cases nothing sticks to them so I like this case for a long time because it was able to um, that the adhesive was able to stick to there uh, very nice and secure and I did like propping this up so this was my go-to case for a very long time I give this case I give this case a B plus as well only because these clips here can be kind of delicate and they can break I did have a this is my second version of this case because the first version uh, from another company all the clips broke I do have one broken clip on here I believe right here one broken clip and it does still work but these clips are very fragile only because they're just so small so you can't expect much from a small plastic clip so I give this like a B minus it's a good case but it's very fragile I still like it though I think it's a good option if you are very careful and never take it off if you take it off that kind of raises the chances of a clip breaking but if you just leave it on you know you have about three or four times to take it on and off before you risk breaking one of those clips but I did still enjoy this case you know while it lasted all right the next case we're going to be checking out is this rubber case it's like a hard rubber but it's still flexible different from the you know soft silicone uh, has a little bit more structure um, this was my my go-to case for a while okay so the next case we're going to be looking at here is this harder but still soft rubber style case i say it's in between the the squishy silicone and the hard plastic style case and that's what made me really like this case for a long time this was my absolute favorite case for the steam deck and let's get it on and check it out so it just slips on this may be one of the easier cases to get on it just slips on and in a few seconds you're ready to go you're ready to game and there you go it's on I like this case because like I said before I do like putting stands on my steam deck I know sue me whatever I like putting a stand on my steam deck just so if I'm playing at a desk I can set it down and still you know look at it with a controller or just have it set down so I don't have to set it down like that I know I'm crazy anyway it <laughs> rants over I like having a stand and this material is smooth enough and hard enough to have a full kickstand with the adhesive and it does feel good. Um, the rubber is very grippy. You can't really tell on video, I guess, but it does offer a lot of grip and it does feel good in the hand. And it's a great case, it's a great option. Um, it, it was my go-to, my favorite case for the longest time. And this was my case of choice. So I get this case in A. I get this case in A because it goes on very easily. It doesn't have any like you know loose flaps that the soft silicone case has it has all your cutouts where they need to be everything is accessible even the um, SD card make sure you check your SD card slot um, some cases are harder than others to access but this one checks all the boxes for a good case for me and it's pretty inexpensive so uh, yeah I give this I give this case an A I like this case we're getting through it let's check out the next case here um, this one is interesting. It has like a clear back with a case, um, but also with some hard rubber. This case is from, I don't know if you can see that, it's from JSO. They make a lot of um, Steam Deck accessories. As you can see here, it's like a hard shell. Um, let's check it out. Okay, so now we're gonna check out this um, case here. This case is actually from a popular Steam Deck accessory maker. Um, go by the name of JSO, as you can see that there, JSO. I think it's JSO only because the X at the end makes me think it's like French or something. So I call that JSO. It's J Socks. Um, let me know, but I call it JSO only because it makes sense. Um, yeah, this case is, is actually very good. You just slide it in there and then pull the top part over, 
and it's on. This case, for me, this case had a lot of potential and I really did like this case. It has a good texture here on the um, grip. I don't know if you can see that texture, but it does have a very good texture on the grip. So it feels good in the hand. Um, all of your buttons and cutouts are there. So you can access that. Even the SD card, pretty easy to access there. And this is a great case. This case was is amazing. I think it had a lot of potential for me. I couldn't use it only because the stand here, the stand here is pretty, pretty like useless here. This stand is just, it flops around. It doesn't really like to stand up much. Like the slightest knock kind of like knocks it over. But if it's just there and it never moves, I guess it'll work um, nicely. But for just for me, I just felt like this stand was like an afterthought. And you know, when you pay for a case, you wanted to feel like every piece was was thought out, even though it's not that expensive. It just feels like this this stand was like an afterthought. They could have just left this off. Um, but that's just me. If you like this, I think it is a great case option. I think it's good that it has like this clear back. You can still kind of see like you know the valve logo there. It does have a very unique design, and it is pretty easy to get on and take off. So this case is a very good option. I would say it just wasn't the best option for me. But I would say this case is still good for anyone looking for a nice steam deck case with you know a stand. Stand is the stand is alright, it's passable, but for me it just felt like kind of you know floppy and it wasn't secure. But you know, in a pinch, you could definitely trust it. So you can get away with this, you know, being your only case. Um, I give this case a A minus only because it has a nice design, nice material. I just took a little bit of points off for this stand here, but that's just me. Sue me if you will. So yeah, this is a JSO case. All right, our next case, we're about halfway through our cases here. This is another case um, from a random company, I'm not sure. Um, but it's like, it has some rubber. It also has some hard plastic. So let's check this one out. Okay, so let's check out this next case here. Um, I do like this case. It has like a rubber outside with a hard shell plastic middle. So this case is also very easy to put on. Pretty much just snap it in there, get the corners on and it's on. As you see here, I don't know if you call this a design, ventilation anyway. These vents don't really do anything, but they're just for style. Anyway, all your cutouts are there. The vents are even each vent has its own sort of hull. So it's not just one big piece. I don't know, that kind of adds to the aesthetic. Um, so yeah, all of your buttons and cutouts are there and good to go. So yeah, I do like this case. This is my um, favorite case in terms of the texture. This texture here is very grippy. It does feel very good in the hand. Has a lot of grip. It's very satisfying to just um, hold. And it also has a stand. One thing I like about this stand over the JSO stand is that it clicks into place. You can sort of hear that and you can see the mechanism. It clicks into place and it's very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And then you have to sort of put effort into closing that. And it does, um, does lay flush with the case. The other one sort of like protrudes out. So this is my um, favorite case in that regard. This is my go-to case at the moment. Um, it has some features that I like. Um, you'll see some other cases have a little bit more features, but for me, this is my go-to case on like a daily basis uh, for the Steam Deck. All right, all right, only a few cases left. Now we're gonna check out this, this case here, um, the UB Pro, pretty heavy duty. This one right here. So there's people out there um, in the field with your Steam Deck. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is like the heavy duty, <laughs> the heavy duty version of the other case. Um, the UB Pro, a pretty um, actually reputable case manufacturer. I know they make um, phone cases. So I was interested to check this one out. I think it's like the Unicron or something like that. Um, I wanted to check this one out because it, it looked like it was industrial. Um, this is made by soup case 
I believe is the manufacturer, Supercase, the UB Pro, I think it stands for like Unicron Beetle, something like that. I guess it's based on like the Beetle, the shell. Um, it's like an industrial looking style case. So let's put this on here and check it out. It's very easy to get on. Just push it down and get that up, flick it up, and then it's in there. Um, this case offers a lot of, you know, additional grip and size and weight. It feels, feels meaty. It feels like, you know, you take this off into the field and you're ready to go. I will say, don't expect it to be like military grade drop protection or anything like that. This is still just um, plastic. But I will say it does offer a, a lot of um, raised space here. So if, you dive, if it has a slight drop, you should be good. This case is good. It has like a groove here, a grip for your hand. As you can see here, a grip for your finger. Um, it's a very good case. Stand is you know, pretty good. It does lock in. So you have everything you need. This case for me, it um it does feel a little bit bulky. You know, it does. It's almost like over the threshold of, of bulk. I have a, a pretty large hand, but it did feel like it was just over the threshold of bulk. Not because it's too big, but because it's it's big, but it's also smooth. It doesn't have like any texture here. So when you're gripping it, it just feels like a big smooth lock. It doesn't feel like it has a satisfying grip. So the grip is not really that satisfying in my opinion. Um, but if you like a smooth style case, you will like this because it offers you a meaty grip, a meaty beefy grip here. And it has some, you know, some cool design features here on the back. So I give this case an A. Um, it just wasn't the case that I frequently use because it doesn't have, I like a, a little bit of texture on the back. That's just me. Like I said, I may have a problem. <laughs> police are out today <laughs> like i said i may have a problem but i do like a little bit of texture on the case but i still give this one an a this is a great option for anyone out there looking for a case uh check this one out all right all right we're still going in the order that i got these cases so now um let's check out this case here it's like a, a travel style case it has multiple parts let's check it out okay so this next case here is very interesting because not only is it a protective case it's also like a travel style case um, of sorts so this case is actually um, two parts it has this top piece that comes on and then it has this bottom piece which is more like a traditional style case so this is what you would expect from a regular case um, so let's put that on there and let's check out the the full setup so this is just your standard standard case just goes on as such this one's kind of tight so just keep that in mind this case is kind of tight here but when you get your buttons out of the way it does kind of you know fall into place here but I will say this kind of tight just to get in and out but that that lets you know that it is secure so it's on here now as you can see and it's actually a pretty good case I do like how it has like actual buttons for the um, volume. Some people may like the buttons themselves, but I do like that it has buttons there for the volume and the power button. Um, everything is easily and accessible. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Also has a stand here, which some people may like. If you know me, you know I like a, you know I like a good stand. Um, so yeah, it has that stand. What I will notice, what I will mention about this case is that if you use a Steam Deck dock, as you can see, this sticks out a little bit, it protrudes. So you may have trouble with the Steam DAC dock and because this um, stand is not flush with the rest of the um, body. But for travel, it's a great option because it has this top piece here. You, you slide this top piece onto the top like so, and then you just slide it down, snap that into place. And now you have a full um, travel style carrying case ready to go and this is very um has a very small form factor and footprint as compared to the other um, carrying cases with the steam deck of course you can't fit your charger you can't fit anything else in this carrying case but if you have a lot of other devices that take charges and you just carry one charger for all your devices this is a great option because it frees up a lot of space in your bag it has a very slim profile i guess as small as you can make it while still protecting it 
so i do give this case a i give this case a solid a um it would be higher if it didn't really interfere with you know docking feature but if you're not one to really um dock your steam deck this can be a great travel option um, so this will be my go-to option when i'm traveling um like long distance but not my everyday case only because um, i do put it in the dock frequently so yeah it's a good option as a travel style case all right down to the last case only because this was the last case that I bought. This was the most recent um, case. Disclaimer, this case was actually sent to me by the, the manufacturer to test out. But I'm still gonna give you a honest opinion about this case here after using it. So that's a little disclaimer. I'm not sponsored or anything, but they just sent this to me to test it out. So let's check it out. Like I said in the, in the disclaimer, this case right here was actually sent to me by the, um, the manufacturer to to review or just check out. It's a um, an accessory manufacturer that is called Anapro. So it's called Anapro, and they sent me this case out um, just to check it out. But I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. So let's get this on here. Let's check it out. Pretty easy to get on there. Um, it's not as tight as the the other case, the travel style one but it is you know pretty tight but you know it's better to be tight than to be loose okay so it is it's on there it does have you know all of your cutouts as you would expect cutouts for your volume power it even has a a dock friendly cutout here so as you can see it kind of um, tapers off so yeah this case is case is good especially for the price does have a, a stand i will say i wish this stand was a little bit more um secure so for the manufacturer if you're watching um just letting you know that this stand here is pretty floppy um and if you put a little effort you can take that off not sure if that's a feature or if that is a flaw feature or flaw let me know in the comments but it is pretty sturdy um when it's there um i just like to test these things to see how sturdy they are in a scenario where like it gets knocked Will it be able to support its weight? And it does a pretty good job. Um, I will say that it locks into place um, using just uh, friction a little bit more than the, the JSO one. So you can see it doesn't just flop around. It has like a groove in here that gives it some friction. But it's not a review of the stand. It's a review of the case. And I will say this case is pretty good. I give this case a B plus only because I wish it had some texture. It looks like it has texture, but it's a lie. It's, it's smooth, it's, it's, there's not really any texture there, but it does look like it will have some type of grip. I would say, um, manufacturer, if you're watching this, just give this some real grip, um, instead of it being so smooth, and this will be an, an A case for me. Maybe add one of the, the stands that have like the actual reinforcement or um, locking mechanism. That'll be good to see. But yeah, if you don't really care too much about the stand, and it's just like a, an, um, you know just an extra feature for you this case is pretty good i give this case here a b plus um it will be an a if it has some grip it'll be an automatic a for me okay one more thing this is like a plug for them um and a pro as you can see this is the uh, manufacturer that sent this case out to me they also sent this case out so i just i'll just throw it in there um with this case um so i don't have to do a whole video on this as you can see they did it, i like that they have this your games are going places it's similar to the the um packaging that the steam deck comes in so that is um very unique in terms of you know unboxing experiences so now we have this case here it's a very good case i will say it's only about just over 20 dollars. i think it's about 24 dollars, and it has everything that you would need in a steam deck case it has this bottom flap here it has this bottom compartment so you can put a charger and whatnot in there let me get the official steam deck charger so you can put the official steam deck charger in there or even a larger charger if you want also another thing you can pop possibly put in there is like maybe you have some some headphones i don't know throw some headphones in there um this is just a airpods pro case for size comparison put some headphones in there or if you have a small power brick 
you could possibly fit a small power brick in there but it won't fit like one of the larger ones i have a 65 watt charger here but will it fit let's see today we're learning okay this that, that that fits perfectly so if you have a 65 watt charger here this is the one by this is from um basis i can't remember if the name is um basis if you see the name there if that will focus um i'll try to leave the link in the description but that charger does fit perfectly it won't fit the power brink and the charge brick but if you had like a USB-C cable, put the USB-C cable in there and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's put the Steam Deck in there with the case on just so we can get a sense of how it looks. You have other options here to put like SD cards um, or you can put your Switch games in there just in case Nintendo tries to sue you for emulation. <laughs> but anyway, put your... Put your Switch games in there so Nintendo can't sue you. Um, but yeah, this is a great option here. As you can see, tighten that down, close it up, and you are ready to go. And that is the um, the case from, from Anna Pro. I think it is a great option. Uh, let me just get the Steam Deck case for size comparison. There's the official Steam Deck case um, as you can see, there's no space for any accessories, but it is more portable, um, I guess, as you can tell. It's not two times as large, but it's about, it's about one and a half, one and a half times, or one and, one and a third times as wide. So that may be worth it for you just to get all your accessories in there. Um, but yeah, so this is the Anna Pro case and just throwing it in there because, you know, they sent this out for review. I'll leave the link for this. I don't get any I don't get any money if you buy it. It's not like an affiliate program. So if you if you do buy it, I don't get anything from that, but I will get the enjoyment that I was able to recommend a product that that you were able to enjoy. So that's pay enough. <laughs> nah, somebody sponsored me. Anyway, yeah, so that's just a, a look at the Anna Pro case there. Okay, so that was all the cases that I have for the Steam Deck. You know, we covered the the silicone ones, we went through the, the harder rubber ones, even these full carrying case style ones with multiple parts. Um, I think this is a good range of, of case styles, you know, for anyone out there interested. I'm gonna try to put, find the links for all of these and leave it in the description. So make sure you check that out. Um, and if there's anyone specifically you want, you know, more information about, make sure to drop a comment down below. Um, this was a fun little journey you know, talking about the cases for the Steam Deck. And I hope you found this helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Smash that like button, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And yeah, peace.